Hi, this is Joseph with Conscious Collective, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Dzogchen practice of self-liberation. Dzogchen is an ancient Tibetan teaching that translates to the Great Perfection. And in these teachings, they say that our true nature is perfect, just as it is, that there's nothing we need to do to add to ourselves, there's nothing we need to do to improve ourselves or to change ourselves. We just need to recognize this truth within ourselves that is always perfect, always whole. And this true nature in Tibetan is known as Rigpa, or pure awareness, pure consciousness. They say that our true nature is simply this ever-present awareness. We simply are always conscious, and this consciousness is perfect, just as it is. So the teachings in this Dzogchen, uh, these Dzogchen teachings are designed to help us realize this truth within ourselves, our true nature of consciousness. And this Dzogchen practice of self-liberation, also known as liberation upon arising, is a really powerful practice, but also a really practical practice for not only helping us recognize our true nature, but also helping us to free ourselves from our thinking. Many of us are at the mercy of our thoughts. We are constantly thinking and we're constantly suffering from the thoughts that we're having. We're being driven by these unconscious forces within ourselves, desires, beliefs, different forms of conditioning and thinking, all of which are mostly unconscious. And this practice of self-liberation is to recognize these unconscious forces within ourselves, because as soon as we bring consciousness to something that is unconscious within us, it's no longer an unconscious force. That very recognition and awareness of this unconscious force begins to transform it and free it. So in this practice, they say the very recognition of a thought is its liberation. So things are always changing. Things are always in a constant state of flow, of movement and change. And our thoughts and our mental states are no different. And so once we recognize what is present within us, once we bring awareness to it, that awareness provides this space that allows that energy, that allows that thought or that feeling to be. And simply by allowing it to be and by recognizing it and being with it, it begins to change and transform on its own. There's nothing we really have to do other than just recognize it and allow it to be. Because often it's when we resist what we're feeling, when we suppress it or push it away, that it begins to perpetuate itself and continue in this cycle. But that cycle can be broken and that energy can be allowed to be freed when we simply give it the space to allow it to be as it is. And something I find to be really helpful about this practice or um, something that distinguishes this practice from other approaches is say in the like psychotherapy, psychoanalysis approach to um, psychology, we would look back at our past, look back at our conditioning to see the events that shaped us, to see the traumas that we've experienced that shape the way that we behave now. While there's obviously some value to this approach, there's really a limitation to it too because I, there's only so much that I remember about my past and my memory is something that's really subjective, it's not something that's very reliable. And there's really no way that I can see every single event in the past that has shaped who I am today. Now, if I were to really attempt that, it would take me months, maybe years. And in that whole time of going back into the past, I would have missed out on so much of my present moment experience. And so while there's value to that approach, this approach of Dzogchen is something that's very different in that the practice is just to be present, to be present to what we are experiencing in the moment, and when something in the past arises in the present moment, that's the time to deal with it. Not necessarily to go looking for things that have happened in our past, but just to bring awareness to whatever is arising within us in the moment. Whether that's something from influenced by the past or um, anything else at all, it's this practice of constant presence to constantly recognize what is arising within us, whether it be our thoughts or our feelings or different stories that we tell ourselves, simply by recognizing them, 
we begin to give them the space in which they can be, be seen, and then be liberated on their own. And one of the powerful uh, insights from this practice as well is that when I recognize a thought, I'm also creating space between the thought and myself, and I'm beginning to free myself from identification with that thought and realize something deeper within myself. So this practice helps us realize that we are not our thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You are not the stories that you have about yourself. You are not your self-image. You are not your roles in life. You're not anything that you can define yourself with. You are simply this presence that is always here, that is always observing, always aware. And so this practice helps us get in touch with this perfection, this awareness within ourselves. And it helps us free ourselves from our minds, from our conditioning. So it's a very powerful practice in that way. It's both got an application for spiritual growth and realization, and also just for dealing with our thoughts and our feelings on a daily basis. Is that there's nothing you have to do to change your thoughts, there's nothing you have to do to change yourself, but simply allow yourself to be, simply allow your thoughts to be, and just rest as this awareness, rest as this open presence. And in that relaxation into our true nature is a an incredible liberation. We are no longer chasing after our thoughts, we're no longer seeking for identity in our thoughts or seeking to find different things to identify with. We're simply relaxing as we are, as this presence, this being that is naturally always here and that can allow all of these energies to move through this space of our awareness. So an analogy that I find to be really helpful is to you know, consider the open sky. The open sky is always here. There's always the sky and the sky is filled with different clouds that are always moving, always changing. Sometimes there's more turbulent weather, sometimes there's more calm weather, but all of these clouds, all of these, this weather is happening within this same open sky. And in the same way, our awareness is always here. There's always this open, spacious presence, even though many different thoughts, many different feelings are moving and flowing within this awareness. So in the same way, no thoughts or rather no clouds have any real effect on the sky. No thoughts have any real effect on our true nature. And also the clouds may you know, veil the sky, the clouds may cover the sky, but the sky is always there. In the same way, our thoughts may cover our true nature. We may get lost in our thoughts or forget who we really are, but our true nature is still always here. And this Zogchen, the Zogchen teachings, these Zogchen practices are really all pointers to help us remember this open presence that we are, to help us relax into our true nature and to rest as consciousness, to rest as awareness, and to no longer drift off into unconsciousness or to be driven by unconscious forces, but simply to recognize them, to bring our attention to these unconscious forces within us, and in doing so, to free ourselves from them. So as soon as I recognize a thought, it no longer has any power over me. You know, it's I'm free from it. I'm only at the mercy of it when I'm not aware of it, when I'm just allowing myself to unconsciously be a victim of, of my thinking. So that's the practice of self-liberation or liberation upon arising. And I invite you to try to practice this in your daily life, just to notice your thoughts, notice the way that they influence you, how they're driving you, and also notice that simply by noticing, by recognizing and bringing awareness to your thoughts, that you are freeing yourself from them. And there's nothing you need to do. You don't need to get rid of your thoughts. You don't need to change your thoughts. You can just allow them to be without being driven by them, simply by relaxing as this open presence. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that it was helpful and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Much love.